Aloha. Welcome back to this week's episode of Tafaonga Experience Our Beautiful Samoa. <clears throat> My name is Joe and I'll be your host today. You know me from Jamily TV. So far we've taken you from Apia to the southeast coast, down to the south coast, to the southwest coast, and today we're at the westernmost point of Upolu uh, in Monono. Today we have our tour guide who took us on a little bit of a tour last week and his name is Olsen. Olsen will be taking us to on the boats today. Uh, welcome Olsen. Yeah, welcome Joe. Did you have a great time last week, bro? Oh, it was awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Man, yeah, it's going to be a great day today. We're going to Monono and uh, uh, Apulima, and we're going to have a look at what true culture is all about, what Samoa is all about. Sure. Traditional. Awesome. And I'm going to touch, yeah. So tell me about ECAT Tours. That's your tour company, right? Yes, yes. ECAT. Um, ECAT stands for Eco Cultural Venture Tourism. So we run the eco activities, uh, jumping off waterfalls, coastal heights, and and uh, in the far side, more um, life in the village, yeah. High adventure, and that matches with what today is. Not very many exactly. people get to go to Monono, so yeah. I'm excited you're taking me today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, bro. Should we go? Yeah, let's All right, do it. let's do it. Joe, we're here, bro. Yeah, look at that. Monono. That was a nice boat ride. Yeah, if I've tried love also. Yeah, Maguila also. I love it. Maguila Malanga. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Hey, yeah. right, Joe, we're here, bro. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Monono Island. The this boat is... ride wasn't bad. Maybe 20 minutes. Oh, that was a breeze. Yeah. Did you feel the breeze as oh, well? Beautiful. Ah, oh, no. All good. I was so excited to be in Monono. We were welcomed by the local high chiefs in a ceremony known as the Fa'afe, a show of respect for us visiting guests. A rich part of our Samoan culture, and it was incredible to be a part of it. They even gifted me an ava. Our culture is truly beautiful. After the small ava ceremony, they gave us breakfast and we were on our way. Look at the, the waka of the puru. These are the, uh, the beginning of the, the breakfast uh, season. So, so what's the daily diet like here? No, no, as compared to Polo, is it different? Uh, very different. Uh, they're looking, uh, they always fish. Okay. Fish off the, uh, off the sea and off the land. So, um, the land here, um, most has been cultivated. You can see the, the fai on, on the left hand side. That's a uh, fai bakar there, with different varieties of fai and all that. So. Hey, Joe. 
here there's the LMS church. So this is one of two churches in Saarua. Okay. There's the LMS over here and there's a Methodist just where we just walked by. Okay. Yeah, it just came by. So, yeah. Hey, check, that, check this out, Joe. Hey, this is like, have you ever seen this uh, elsewhere? Because most of these are rugby posts, uh, yep. they're all made out of steel. Yep. But this is made out of formulae. Yeah. You know, some on hardwood, but they painted it white. Uh -huh. oh, it's crazy. And look at the netball of court. It's a, it's a multi-purpose right type of mono. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the kids actually play here then? Yeah, they play here. They love it. Yeah. yeah, the girls probably play there and the boys play over here. Look, look how short the, the Malay is. Uh. So but can I, a successful rugby player come out of something like this? Yeah, um, actually um, uh, they produce the money some more players, the motu will be matu. Backwards. We're backwards, uh, picked up now by Hodgson, oh. oh, and he has been hammered by motu matu. And um, also uh, Longavi in Monopola. Monopola! Oh ho! 20 stones of Samoan meat on the charge! Wow, that's pretty crazy that Manu Samoa players can come out of a place like this. Maybe you think that one of these kids could do it. That's kind of crazy to think about like that. That's just a, it kind of blows your mind that a little kid from a little village like this in the middle of nowhere can really make themselves into something like a Manu Samoa or, a, or an All Blacks player. Crazy. Let me show you Let me show you this. Manolo is also famous for his fire boat Tassi. Okay. So one of the boats here, Tawaisina, and also um, Terfuling Olevailu. Long boat. Probably there's been a maintenance under the under the covers for the corridor. I heard they raced the quite often in the Independence Day celebration. Man, you don't really understand the length of this boat until you start walking it and uh, see how massive it is and how many trees it takes and how many hours it takes. It just blows your mind to think that a village puts this together and races it and that it floats. This thing's got to be thousands of pounds. That's the island of New Lopa, just in the distance. Well, we're We'll just go, uh, this is our pie, we're going to continue along the coast, Joe. Alright, alright, let's take a look. Yeah. Being in Monono really takes you back to the old days when life was simple. Enjoying hand-carved canoes. The beautiful ocean at your doorstep. A fresh new straight from the tree. Fales built by the hands of your ancestors. Seeing Tama Matua struggle with his climb, but only want to be in Samoa. The flowers and trees you've always loved. Taking a walk through swaying palms and white sands. what it was like to be a kid learning how to fish from dad. This is our Samoa. Church. 
brings us to the Methodist Church, Joe. Tayao Baliu Maluta Amiyan. Yeah. This is the biggest church I've seen on the island. Oh, and there's yeah. a monument over there. Yeah, that, that's where the uh, Methodist Church was first established in Samoa. Oh, really? Let's yeah. go check it out. It's cool. Yeah. This piece of history just really blows my mind. It says that he, Peter Turner, arrived in 1835. It's 185 years ago. Can you imagine Samoa 185 years ago? For a European to be here in Samoa, bringing the good word of God. Man, yeah. so cool that they commemorated it with such a beautiful monument. Yeah. All right, let's get back. Bye. What do you think of uh, Manono? I love Manono. It was uh, it was an interesting walk. We went through yeah. four villages here on Manono, right? Yeah. Um, I think uh, we saw six stores, but four of them were here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they're, they're thriving in uh, Saalua. Yeah, um, we were talking to the local person and he said that they get uh, restocked every single week. Every week, yeah. yeah that kind of yeah, was a surprise great. to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We also passed um, six, six churches Four La Musa and uh, two Methodist church, including that one that you showed me, that the was, monument. That was huge. Yeah, that was, big church. It was a big church. Yeah. Really cool to see where the, Real, the Methodist Lester church. Yeah. 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 Really cool to see where the Methodist church was first introduced yeah. and accepted into Monono Island. That was a really cool thing to, yeah. to see and witness. Yeah. What about the school? Oh, oh man, kids. yeah. Oh. Seeing all these little kids and knowing that these little kids can become a Manu Samoa player or All Blacks player just blows my mind. I still yeah. can't believe that. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. to think that somebody like that could come yeah. from such a small village like this. Yeah. It really is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful people, beautiful sunshine, welcome to my beautiful Samoa. Beautiful islands, this side of heaven, love. Olsen had to head back to Upolu for some work commitments, but we put the Tafaonga flags up and continued on to beautiful Abu Lima. The confidence of the captain, the teal blue water, the high hum of the motor, the life jacket that's too small for my big belly, hanging off the boat for that perfect Instagram selfie. I knew we were headed to paradise. It all put us at ease as we continued our journey into the deepest part of the sea on our trip to Apolima. We came across an abandoned hand-carved pow pow filled with traps and decided to tow it back to Apolima with us. It took us a little while to figure it out, but the captain and this muscle man held on to it all the way back to the Apolima channel. The shallow teal waters near Monono turned to deep blue as we got to the midway point between Monono and Apolima. This is where the smooth water turns into one meter swells, showing a glimpse of God's power. As we come up to the ancient volcanic crater, we feel the great depth of the ocean. Not anyone can enter Apolima, you have to be a skilled captain as you shoot the narrow three and a half meter gap between the coral reef that protects the Apolima Cove. The sheer cliffs with the news on top. The height is staggering as you come close. Truly breathtaking.
Sotanu Nao Fanawai Ulele Oi Levasa to the fourth largest island in Samoa, Apolima. I hope you guys really enjoyed that boat ride in. It was a crazy boat ride, but it was a whole lot of fun. With us today is Salisulu Buseu. Talofa. Yeah, ma olo so swani sungole to feel mato no sunga ya sa subuafe po le alafe. All right, so what we're here to do today is to see all of the fun things that you can do while you're here in Apolima and to see the sights and sounds of everything that's beautiful of Samoa. Come with us, let's go. Yeah, or go see the fia. Yeah, the wafule, asa unia el malo. Orkaimingai <laughs> So for the viewers, can you tell us a little bit about Apolima? So these 80 solar panels power the entire island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have to? How often so, do you have to use the generator? So openongi. Yeah, for me. Yeah, you all are coming. I. It's a palaya. Kunga le ma lo sole la. Fa fanga la yo ma. Yo ma la nga fa mo mo. Usai tisi ma kufu le ma tisi. Yeah, yeah, la me. It's a feliwa inga le power le 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 for le la nga le tisi le nga le isi. 
Nice to be independent of Upolu way. <laughs> Not rely on them. So this is a pretty cool story. <clears throat> the legend has it that there was a giant that was going over to Monono and he asked for water from this old lady in Monono. And the old lady from her spring offered the giant some water. And the giant just took all of the water, not just a sip, but all of the water off of Monono and brought it over to Apolima and stepped on it. That's what you can see, his toes right there. And he spit all the water into Apolima. So Apolima has fresh water that supplies all of the whole village. And you can see his toes right there carved into the stone, into the papa. Pretty sweet legend. Walking through Apolima with Sale Sulu and seeing how the dozen or so families live their day-to-day -day lives in isolation from modern day conveniences is both humbling and inspiring. Seeing the fruits of the land and the joys of the children warms your heart. Beautiful faces, humble homes, simple toys, that's a beautiful life. Welcome to Apolima. <laughs> Apolima is a pretty sweet little island. Um, being completely independent for power and water is really important and they are completely independent, which is really awesome. This is the only church on Apolima. It's an Epacasa church. And um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's pretty, it's really well kept. And uh, everyone that's on this island and the people that are in Apolima, Buta, they're all Epacasa also. So kind of a cool thing to keep that tradition alive and well. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna join up with Dennis, and Dennis is one of the local residents who's moved here recently, and he's gonna take us up to the top of the, to the mountain here to the lighthouse. Pretty sweet little um, view from up there, and you can see the entire island, really beautiful. Let's go find Dennis. Hello. So this is Dennis, and he's from America, just like me. Just a, a recent transplant back to Samoa. Um, can you tell us about your story? Yeah, so uh, I came here about three years ago to visit my family, the Tau Tau Laval. And then um, I went back home to Hawaii, to Maui, and then I moved here about uh, about eight months now, so since I've been here. So I'm uh, stuck here on since the lockdown, so yeah. But I love it here, so it's nice and quiet, as you can tell. It's a good pace of life over here in Samoa, for sure. Apolima. For yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you just want to relax and you know, yeah, take it easy. So yeah, it's definitely this is the place. a nice place. Yeah. yeah. Can you take us to the lighthouse? Yeah, let's go. Awesome. All right.
do with the coconut? Kill it! <laughs> um. Kill it! Kill it! You don't have to go very fast. You just have to get it done right. not the best way to do that but I guarantee that's the best um, Texan way to do it right there now I just need a rock where's the rock to end our tour here today at the lighthouse of Apolima. A huge thank you to the villagers of Manono and Apolima, especially Olson for taking us around the tour of Manono and Salisulu and Dennis for taking us around Apolima. What a beautiful day. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. And a big thank you to Samoa Tourism Authority for bringing us on this trip today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you guys can join us next week with Nive and Savai. Basoi fua! Beautiful people Beautiful sunshine, welcome to a beautiful Samoa. Beautiful islands, this side of heaven, La U Samoa La Lili. Beautiful people, beautiful sunshine. Welcome to our beautiful Samoa Beautiful islands, this side of heaven La U Samoa, la, 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 la.